Hi everyone, it's Tristan, and in this video, we'll talk about commands. Hey you, are you subscribed to the channel? No you're not? You're not subscribed to my channel. How could you? Could you subscribe please? Thank you very much. Okay, so just for y'all guys, I've created a small library, if we can say so, a small library for GDA, so that you can add commands really easily okay so you can create a bunch of commands really easily okay so let's start so in the description i'm supposed to have put a link a media fire link or some link i don't know which one is going to be <laughs> but there's going to be a link uh, where you're going to be able to download a certain jar file okay and with this jar file basically it's going to be called gda commands so if you come into your project structure and you go into libraries you can click plus and you can say java and then you're going to be able to add the library that you've just downloaded. So GDA commands uh, dot jar. So you just click add and boom, you should have this right here. You should have GDA commands with classes and the path of your classes of your jar, basically. So if it's on your desktop, for example, it's going to be located on your desktop over here. Then click OK. And that's done. You now have GDA commands, the library that I've just created. So to use it, it's pretty simple. You want to instantiate a GDA commands. Just like that, instantiate it. Over here, it requires a string for a prefix, as you can see. So we can put a custom prefix. So for commands, it's going to be um, exclamation point. Then you can say GDA commands dot register command. OK, that's to register a command. You could also uh, set the commands if you have an array list of commands. Uh, but for now, we're just going to register a command. Right here, we're going to create a new folder called commands. In this folder, we're going to create a new Java class. The Java class is going to be called command hello. And in here, we're going to implement I command. So you implement that. And now it's going to give you a small error right here. Just say implement methods. Then it's going to pop out two commands, uh, two methods, basically. So get name and execute. Click OK. So right here, you can set the name of your command. So for example, right here, I said command hello. So let's say hello. And then in the execute right here, Let's execute something. So let's say message receive event dot get channel dot send message. No, we're, no, we're going to say actually hello world. OK, that's going to fit a bit more. And then we're just going to queue. So we're sending a message. OK, when this command is get, get executed, we send this message hello world. So when we're going to type hello. So right here, let's register it. Let's say new command hello, just like that. So this command has been registered. And then let's just register my command on um, GDA commands. So just come here and say, Add event listener, comments, GDA comments, just like that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you could also, I guess there was, um, yeah, you can get comments. So with comments, you can do uh, some stuff. I don't know what you would want to do with that, but you could get uh, the list of all your comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it that you could do with this class. So let's uh, start this bot. As you can see, the bot is started over here, YouTube bot. And then let's say hello. As you can see, the bot responded successfully. So that was it, everyone. That was uh, mostly it uh, because I, I just wanted to show you how to create base commands. I just wanted to like uh, set up for you the uh, command class or the command uh, library that I've created. So now that it's set up, we're going to be ready in next episode to add cool custom commands and uh, cool stuff, basically. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch us in the next one.